This is the first video in a series of videos taking a look at the Edexcel practice papers. Uh, this is the second set and this is paper two. Here we're told that a box is on a table. We're told that the area of the box in contact with the table is 1,500 centimetres squared. Then we're told that the pressure on the table is 28 newtons per metre squared. We're asked to work out the force exerted by the box on the table. We've also been given the formula for pressure in terms of force and area. So the first thing to kind of recognise with this question is that the area units that we are given for the area and the area units that is used in that compound measure of pressure, uh, they are different. And if we are going to substitute into this formula and solve, then we are going to need to have these units uh, matching up. So what I need to do is I need to turn, and the way that I'm going to do it is I'm going to turn 1,500 centimetres squared into metres squared. Now, it's very tempting to just say, well, because I know that one metre is equal to 100 centimetres, it might be very tempting to just divide my area in centimetre squared by 100 and think that that's going to give me metre squared. Uh, but it doesn't. One metre squared is actually equal not to 100 centimetre squared. And what we're going to do is just show that up here. So if we imagine a one metre square, OK, so literally what we're talking about, one metre square. So I can think of that, that's a one metre by one metre. And I can say that the area would be one metre squared. Now, if I was to convert this one metre into centimetres, and say that's now 100 centimetres, that length, and do the same with this length at the top, I can say that that's 100 centimetres then what I can see is that actually, my, if I was going to measure this area in centimetres squared, that I would be doing 100 multiplied by 100. And so that would actually be 10,000 centimetres squared. So the conversion here, the conversion between 1 metre squared to centimetres squared is actually... 10,000 centimetres squared. So, in order to substitute in now, and what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to take my pressure, which is 28, and that's newtons per metre squared. And then I'm going to take my force, which I don't know at the moment, so I'm just going to call that X for now. And then I'm going to divide that by the area. And I want my area in meter squared. So in order to turn this 1,500 centimeter squared into meter squared, I'm going to have to divide it by 10,000. So 1,500 divided by 10,000 is going to give me 0 0.15. So substituting in now, I've got 28 newtons per meter squared is equal to the force, which I'm trying to find, divided by the area in metres squared, which is 0 0.15. And then solving this, multiplying by 0 0.15, um, I'm going to get x is equal to 28, multiplied by 0 0.15. And that is going to give me an answer of, so, um, so multiplying that by 28, is going to give me an answer of 4.2, uh, and that's newtons. So final answer, 4.2 newtons.